But as soon as you can't be on me, this is a Lincoln Co. 3 Plus. And we're going to show you how this goes from sheets of metal and other parts to a fully finished car. Hi. How are you doing? Yeah. How are you doing? Hello. Hi. Wow, that's that's pretty cool. I like that colour as well. That's really good. Well, you Thank you there, very mate. much. So we've got a nice uh, model. Isn't that of... the same one we saw at, we just did the intro with? Yeah, yeah, that's so yeah. cool, isn't it? Look at that man. That's absolutely wicked, man. Okay, thank you very much. Really appreciate that, guys. No, thank you. So, where are we going to go after this? We are going to go and have a look how those cars, are, the Model 03s, made in the factory. And um, it's one of the largest factories in the world. It covers an area of 800 square meters, and they've got some of the most advanced manufacturing production lines pretty much in the world. So, we're uh, looking forward to that. Decent. So the first part is the pressing shot where they press out all the body panels and the sort of chassis parts. Then goes on to welding where pretty much the chassis is formed or welded together. That's 100% automated. After that it goes to painting and then it goes to final assembly where all the parts are fitted and you know all the steering wheel goes in, the engine goes in, the transmission, the wheels go on, the interior fit and, and all that sort of stuff. Okay, so we've come into the uh, press workshop and this is where basically they get flat pieces of, of sheet steel and it goes on these massive presses which you can see over here and it's formed into the parts for the body and the chassis. These are the automated body panel presses. Press goes up, a robot arm grabs a piece of sheet steel, puts it into the press, bam, the press comes down, presses it into a shape press goes back up, another robot arm takes that piece out and the process repeats. So fast and efficient these are. Each one of these presses applies two and a half thousand tons of pressure to press that metal. So you'd come out like a pancake, I reckon? That wouldn't be the best. You wouldn't want to get caught in one of them, would you? You just said years ago that yeah. would have had to have been done by hand. Yeah, wouldn't yeah. It? So what would have happened is a guy would have loaded the sheet steel in, they'd have pressed a foot pedal, the press would have come down, lifted it up, and they'd have had to take that part out. So one, it was dangerous. Right. Yeah, people would have had possibly had their hands taken off and things like that in those. And two, it was obviously a lot slower. I mean, that's going at some rate. That I was about is. to say, I wonder what the percentage efficiency increase is using robots. Is that people enjoy these factory videos and we are getting around China to show you some of the most advanced automated factories in China so you can let us know if you want more of these by smashing that thumbs up button and and let us know down in the comments as well what you think of the Geely factory and let's carry on with the tour Behind me here, this is where, I mean you can probably see up, up here, is where they're constructing the floor. So they bring all those individual components together and they construct the floor. This is a complete, finished, by the looks of it, sort of floor. One of the most interesting things about these robotic production lines is, is they enable an absolute consistency of quality and a lot of the Lincoln Co. is a joint venture between Geely and Volvo. And it was all designed in Sweden. Um, they've been designing the car for the last three years. Two or three thousand engineers have, have 
have uh, designed it. And uh, they've used all the, the Volvo techniques and quality control and things in this. So, you know, they really have a very, very high quality product. This is a sort of uh, finished chassis here. This is the main kind of capsule that protects the driver. So this will be all the thicker gauge steel. And then obviously sort of other things that go on will be a thinner gauge because it's like crumple zones and stuff. But this is a, this is actually a car chassis. So what's happening is over here, the sides are getting put on and then it's coming through this line of robot welders to weld all the different parts around the sides to the main floor and chassis and then pretty much when it's done that it's not far off complete so after it's gone down this line i pretty much certainly will go then into the paint shop to have the, the body sealed and painted <laughs> We're just up on the, uh, we're just coming up onto the gantry roof here and we're getting kind of an overhead uh, view of this insane factory. All the KUKA robots doing their magic, putting these cars together is pretty insane. Let me give you a look. Now what's insane about these robots, right, is they're all in a very tight space and they've all got to work synergistically with each other to give each other enough room to move and weave in and out of the car, in and out of each other. And uh, I just think the people who are programming these robots must be some very intelligent souls. But the maddest part is about these factories, they're not just one layer. You've got this whole, you know, upper layer behind me as well. So like the whole of the factory, vertically and horizontally, is being used. It's awesome, man. It's really awesome. Good to go. Good to go. to another building. This building is then the paint shop. And uh, basically, as you can see, this behind me, they're coming to here. And um, they enter this sort of large tunnel here. And this is where the painting process starts, basically. And it's a very interesting paint shop because each car that goes through can be designated a different color. It's not like where you have to have like 100 the same color. Every one can be a different color. So once the bodies have been through all the various stages of painting, it's not just painting, it's like they have an anti-corrosion um, layer, they have a, a primer layer and, and so forth. They actually end up here, and what's happening here, they go along here, and then they ship back into the factory where their bodies will then go to have all the other bits fitted, engine, transmission, interiors, or all everything that makes it into a car basically. So yeah, all good. So once the body gets to here, this is where things like the wheels go on, the interior gets fitted, the engine gets put in, and uh, it gets built into the car as you know. But this machine here, so every vehicle needs to have a unique chassis number. And that's what this machine here does. It engraves a unique chassis number onto every car body. Then sort of further down here, uh, basically these trolleys here, right? These are like all the parts they have. This is the line where all the mechanical things are put onto the car, like the suspension, the engine, the transmission, all that kind of thing. And then once it's finished here, it gets transferred across here to the other side. And that's where the body is then put onto the mechanical part, so it comes together more like a car. 
and they use exactly the same quality control as Volvo. So all the tightenings on the bolts and the nuts and all the pressures are following European and American standards. So once the mechanics are fitted to the body, it comes over to here. Wheels are going on. The interior is already in now, but as you notice, there's still no doors on. The doors are taken off after it's painted because they get all their own fittings. And then a bit later on, on this line over here, is where the doors are put back on and it goes to final testing. And uh, you know, there's a lot more to, to building the car than meets the eye. You know, we, we haven't been able to, to video the whole process because the video would be like two hours long because there's a lot of internal fit, but we, we sort of give you a, an overview of uh, the process. Like you said before, they wouldn't notice two of these going missing, no, would they? Sure they could I'm sure they wouldn't notice a couple of these going like if, if one comes off those. if one comes off every one and a half minutes that's three minutes of work that they could <laughs> spare for the barracks This is where they'll be doing the tracking, line up the headlights and all that kind of stuff. It's kind of like you'd seen an MOT in the UK. So this is where they're testing the car for like any leaks and that. So basically it goes through this kind of tunnel and it's like going in 10 or 15 minutes of really, really heavy rain. The windows are kind of a bit fogged up, but it's like it's like driving your car through a massive storm in it. It's like a category six that is. Now it looks like here they go through like a massive hair dryer because when they come out, they're all dry. And once they've finished all the testing, they get driven out of the factory, put into the parking lot, wait to be picked up by the transporters and taken to the dealers, I guess. So that brings us to the end of the video. Um, I'll show you how a Link and Co car is made here in Jang Jang, Jang Jang Co. I think that's spelled, I think I got that right. But anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, get us out there. If you like the channel in general, hit that subscribe button. And uh, see you next time for now. Take care. See you later, everybody.